if you're going to start to analyze sales performance if you're going to have uh, a review with people about sales performance then a good place to start is to understand historic sales performance and that's what this first dashboard chart tells us so it shows how much how many deals people have uh, closed one over the uh, over the course of this financial year and we can see that Dave is probably the uh, the top performer and um, we can see that perhaps uh, Peter is the poorest performer so without knowing anything else we're going to look at a bunch of other dashboard charts that might help us to understand that performance and just drill down into it in a bit more detail yeah I think the thing to remember here Gary is that it gives a great overview of what each salesperson is doing throughout the year and you can see it broken down by month which I think is important and what I would say is that the the report that this is built on is a matrix report oh, so yeah. if we if we drill down into that we can see the structure of that matrix report and I think aesthetically this is this is really important um, in terms of getting a good oversight and a good view of what is happening compared to a matrix report uh, as compared to a summary report yeah, you, I, I suspect you, you're gonna say yes yeah. I would say compared to a summary report and a lot of people are comfortable with summary reports and they're not as comfortable with matrix reports but I think that you can really see the rewards here of using a matrix report yeah. as opposed to a summary report yeah. you know essentially it is very clean yeah, yeah, an easy way to understand that you can build the chart actually on the, using a summary report or a matrix report, but when in doubt, build uh, build a matrix report. So, in actual fact, I know in the blog post there's a link to summary versus matrix reports yes. um, as well. Um, the other thing about this chart, and, and you'll see this on on some of the others as, as well. Um, this particular, the dashboard and the and the dashboard package show the performance based on individual sales person and that's because we can't predict what your sales team structure is going to be whether you, you use fields on the opportunity or fields on the user or the role hierarchy whatever it is so if you do install the dashboard package feel free you can absolutely modify any of the charts on this on this dashboard because if you have a large sales team you might want to structure this chart by region or territory or, or however you organize your sales team so uh, go ahead and do that. 